My name is Ian Walsh, and this is The Moment Money Matters with Hard Money Bankers. I'm here with Angela Calvanese, an ex absolute expert in uh, renting properties in the city. Uh, she works with TCS Management. We have discussed in the how-to series how to do an open house, how to run a background check, and now we're going to discuss the actual move-in. It's actually it's not as easy as people think. There's leases in place. There's documents that need to be signed. Obviously, you want to have the right rental agent or management company handling that because that can You've done a lot of work up to this point. You want to make sure that you get it done yep. right mm -hmm. on the movement. So yep. explain to me, Angela, how it goes from that. We've chosen the right applicant. With You have a landlord you're dealing with. Now we've got to go to move-in. Is there a lease? Is there other documents? How does the move-in process work? So we put together the lease, which we have a template that we use that really protects the landlord as much as possible. Uh, we send it to the landlord for approval first. Nothing goes out to the tenant okay. without the landlord's okay. Um, once they're okay with it, we send to all parties via electronic signature with DocuSign. Okay. Once the lease is fully executed, then we send our move-in packet to the tenant, which basically has all the packets that they need from the city, partners for good housing. Obviously, this is depending if it's Philly or outside of Philly. Okay. Um, partners for good housing, the lead packet. There's also in our lease, which I didn't mention, a lead addendum. That is a new law in the city that we have to uh, send out and get signed. Um, we also take care of the rental suitability license, which a lot of landlords don't know about. Um, if they don't have that, they technically can't collect rent. Okay. We go through the city website and get that for them. We, and then that also raises red flags if there's any violations on the property, etc. Sure. Um, we also take care of lead testing for the landlord. We submit that into our system. If, it, if there's a child in the property over the age of, or under the age of seven, we get a lead certification test for the landlord. Okay. Um, then we collect all the move-in funds. We always collect three, three times the rent. So we collect first month, last month in security. Okay. The tenant doesn't receive the keys or access to the property till the day the lease starts and all the move-in funds are in our office. So for anybody watching this that thought a uh, move-in was an easy process, if anybody, all those codes, regulations, um, items that have to be addressed, a lot of people don't even know about. Yes. So um, I read- the landlords are like, what's a rental suitability license? Right. I mean, yeah, I and, no then, idea. And, and the repercussions for not having that in place can be substantial. So um, so I appreciate you coming out, Angela, to help everybody. Tomorrow we're going to have release a video on um, more in-depth into Angela herself and to what she does as, as an expert and masters in the market. So this week was the prelim to the um, to the Big Friday interview, and um, Angela is obviously extremely aware and uh, knowledgeable in her in her in her skill set. So um, Ian Walsh of uh, Hard Money Bankers on Facebook and Angela Calvanese of TCS Management.